I'm going to give you some tips throughout the video on different ways to prep and how to prep inexpensively smart and to be able to take care of your family. Welcome back to Obsessive Prepper AZ. For all of you that do not know who I am and what is a prepper, I'm a prepper. And what a prepper is is somebody that wants to store food, take care of your family during certain instances. Now, we're not looking at a doomsday prepping kind of thing that you've watched on TV and watched the world's going to end. I'm talking about a loss of job. I am talking about a hurricane and the power goes out. I'm talking about a tornado and just literally kind of devastation happens and we can go to the extremes of why you prep an shtf situation emp war bottom line prepping for me is every day it is a lifestyle it's taking care of your family in case of a power outage in case you don't have any water so by doing these simple things you have your stores what we call stores it's like having your own little store in your house of goods to get you through a couple days, a week, months. My stores I have for a long period of time. I look at every situation. A lot of people that do not understand prepping say, why do you prep? Doomsday, those kind of situations. You prep to take care of your family. And for people to say nothing can happen to you, look at the people during hurricanes. Look at the people that are devastated with tornadoes. I point up north, look at the Midwest and families that are devastated by rains, floods, snow. So things like that can affect every one of your families. Literally, our lives were turned upside down and our prep saved us. If you want to see what happened, check that video out. And I'm going to go ahead and get on into some of the things that I just recently purchased and how easy it is for you to get your preps going. Okay, to start with, one of the first things you want to do is have a well-prepared pantry. And how can we do that inexpensively? It's by following sales. Don't go out and purchase a bunch of things right off the biscuit so that you have a full pantry. Follow the ads, follow the sales. This last week and a half, two weeks, Fry's Kroger's has had Green Giant on sale. Now, normally Kroger's canned foods are 59 cents. They're running a sale right now on Green Giant for 49 cents a can. So I went out and purchased some more canned goods. They also had a sale on Campbell's Soup. It was only the cream of chicken and the cream of mushroom, but I went ahead and purchased some of these. 49 cents. They're 99 cents and above anymore. So pick some of these things up when they're on sale. I also purchased some cans of tuna. And I've got some videos out on how to use your tuna, how to even make a candle out of your tuna. That's right, a tuna candle. And I'm telling you, it didn't smell. So that's a heck of a deal. The only difference is, is you can't use tuna that is water filled. You have to get some tuna that is oil. And those are getting vegetable oil tuna is getting hard to find. But they're, most of the stores in Walmart still do have them. In the tuna can video, I showed you how to make the candle. But it also showed you how to make a meal with just saltine crackers and tuna gravy. So go ahead and look at that video if you'd like to see on how to make a candle. So when you're out at the stores, pick up some cans of tuna because it is always good for your stores. And with your soups, you can make some casseroles, use some noodles that are in your stores, some rice. Now your rice will store 25, 30 years, even longer. I've got a video out on pasta, on how long it stores and taste testing it years later down the road. So if you're gonna do some things that you can purchase inexpensively, Fry's Kroger has sales on pasta all the time, 49 cents. Check these videos out on how to store your pasta and you have pasta and rice stored for a long time inexpensively. Five containers of Maxwell House. I purchased those at Fry's slash Kroger's and I say that because the name's a little different across the country. They had a sale that you buy five you get them for $3.99. Now that's a heck of a saving. So if you drink coffee, I'm not saying necessarily to have these in your stores. I'm a coffee drinker. I like my coffee. So for me to purchase this for $3.99 versus the $5.50 and above price that you can get on coffee, that was worth it for me to purchase. 
when I go to the store and I purchase things like my toothpaste, things like that, I don't run sales necessarily on those. I purchase what I use. And if you watch that video of me talking about our life turned upside down, I strongly believe in purchasing the things that you use on an everyday basis. I don't follow the sales. And I'm not saying if you do, that's wrong. I'm just saying personally, I purchase what I use. And my toothpaste that I purchase, and when I go to Sam's Club, I literally purchase boxes of toothpaste. They come five to a package for ten dollars for me this is my toothpaste I love it and so I'm gonna purchase this I'm also at Sam's Club I purchase extra toothbrushes and you think doomsday well you know what if your teeth fall out literally where are you gonna find a dentist so also loss of job loss of income just by having these simple items in your stores it's something that you don't have to go out and purchase if you lost your job they're there and yes you have to build this stock up but when you lose your job or if you have a hurricane earthquake some reason the stores are empty you have got toothbrush toothpastes underarm deodorant shampoos soaps things like that to get you by so I've also got a video on how to build your preps check that video out back here you see strawberries red bell peppers and apples now I got a heck of a deal it for these I watch the sales I have a local ranch market that runs sales on items all the time and when they do that's when I'm there I have two pallets of strawberries here eight packages to a pallet 16 of these I am going to make the heck out of strawberry jam and I put those into my stores I'm also going to do a strawberry pie and uh, these are the items that you want to watch where you can get them cheap so that you can plan to do your strawberry jellies if you're not a gardener you live in the city and you don't have that way of being able to come up with this kind of volume watch these sales because you will have strawberry jam jellies apples I purchased these were a heck of a deal I purchased these I'm going to make apple rings I've got a video on how to dehydrate your apples. Also a video on how to make muffins with your apples, your dehydrated apples. So these are simple little things that you can pick up when they're on sale. Make apple butter out of your apples. Apple rings dehydrated to chew on. Very healthy. Snacks for everyday living. Not a doomsday, not prepping. But you could definitely make jellies and jams out of it that for longer storage. I picked up red bell peppers. They were on sale for free for a dollar. And I'm going to take these and I'm going to do roasted bell peppers and put them in my mason jars for my stores. And uh, that way when I make a meatloaf, I chop these up. I put them in my meatloaf or even on sandwiches. So yummy. So watch your sales on your vegetables, things like that. You can pick these up. Five dollars, I bought two pallets of strawberries. That's a heck of a deal. And you have strawberry jelly for years to come. Let me just show you. This is my last jar of strawberry jam that I just opened up. And let's see if you can see the date. Actually, 616 was when I canned this. So your palette of strawberries make jam that you can use and this is 616 and I just opened it up and I am using it and it is now April 2019. So when people ask how long you can store your, your canned food, jellies, I'm going to give a valid at least three years on your jellies because this is still yummy. It's my last jar and I'm going to make some more. So prepping is easy. You just have to make a lifestyle out of it. When you go to the store, purchase these items that you use on a daily basis that you can put in your stores. Now, there are some videos that I'll show you that I do for long-term food storage. And that's after you've got your stores pretty well set. I say go on and move to that. But when you have your pantry full these are things that are lifestyles 
that you go to the store, you keep an eye out, instead of just purchasing your one can of green giant green beans for one night's meal, think about picking up an extra can, three cans, six cans. The more you have, think about the weeks that go on. I have a video just on chunky soups that will show you how to build a two-week store for that. Also, with your chunky soups, you purchase those, you can have your rices to pour your soups on to stretch that meal for more than one person. Vegetables, your can of vegetables, you can add to it. Things to think about. Open your cans of vegetables. Don't get rid of the juice. If you're in a really bad pinch, drink the juice. Be it peaches, save the juice and drink the juice. Again, I just wanted to reiterate how easy it is to prep for your family and I know I keep repeating myself but it is very simple to do and just a few little extras every week with your groceries doesn't break the bank but builds your stores up and then that way eventually down the road you have a proper pantry for your family and you don't have to go run out to the stores and find empty shelves and harm yourself by being out there in a world if it really is chaos. So I just hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you to all my subscribers out there. I know some of these videos kind of get a little repetitious, but I just want everybody to think about how important it is to keep a well stocked pantry. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. And if you want to be notified for future videos, ring the bell. Have a blessed day.